this movie is based on a true story. In the opening shots, we see a guy named Celia doing an internship in a restaurant. After work, he cooks a fancy dinner for his family. This is Celia's favorite thing to do. At some point, the guy starts to not see clearly. In gymnasium classes, his vision problems worsened. Celia went to the doctor, who gave the bad news to the guy and his parents, he has a congenital disease in both eyes. Rapid retinal detachment is occurring. Surgery was urgently needed to save the rest of his vision. The operation was successful, but Celia lost 95% of his vision. His sister promised to help him in everything. The parents want to send their son to a special school, but he refuses. In addition, Celia intends no matter what to go to study hotel business, as planned. Celia had a hard time in school, but the teacher was very understanding. At home, Celia also continued to study hard for his final exams and soon received a certificate. The father still couldn't accept the fact that his son was blind. Celia was very upset about it. The first thing he did was send out resumes to the big five-star hotels where he wanted to get a job. However, Celia soon received rejections. No one wanted to hire an invalid. Celia didn't give up. He removed the line about his illness from his resume and sent it to a five-star hotel in Munich. Celia does not care that no one believes in him, he will fulfill his dream at any cost. His sister helps him prepare for his upcoming interview. No one must know that Celia is almost blind. Now he learns to hide it carefully. The next day, the mother and sister bring Celia to the interview. They support him in everything and say they love him very much. It is very hard for Celia to be in a public place. He is constantly bumping into people and tripping over furniture. Fried, the human resources director, decided to show Celia the hotel first. Suddenly another guy arrived, Max Schroeder, who was an hour late for the interview. Max referred to the terrible traffic in the city, and Celia, out of solidarity, confirmed the fact. Celia told Fried that he had dreamed of working in a hotel since he was 14 years old. At one point Celia stumbled, but Max stopped him from falling. The pretty maid smiled playfully at the guys. Max was flattered by that, but Celia didn't see anything. He was particularly disoriented in the kitchen. Here he was surrounded by many people, sounds and smells. The chef, Mr. Crone, had previously worked on a cruise liner, where he had learned strict discipline. There are 15 tables in the restaurant. This restaurant is run by Mr. Kleinschmidt, who is very picky about the staff. When Fried went away, Max noticed that something was wrong with Celia. In addition, Max was struck by the potential colleague's powers of observation, he notices even the smallest details. Thanks to Celia's advice, Max was able to make a good impression on Fried. At first Fried had a separate conversation with Celia. He really liked the guy's sincerity, which is why Fried offered him the job. The mother and sister could not believe that Celia really did it. No one noticed that he is blind. From then on, Celia learned to live with his diagnosis and moved into a rented apartment. His sister helped him adapt and count the steps to the crosswalk and the trolley bus stop. Taking public transportation was a particularly difficult task. Today is Celia's first day at work. At the entrance he met Max, who was also hired. Fried gave a speech to the trainees. They were all chosen from a huge number of candidates. A girl tried to flirt with Celia, but he didn't see anything. The trainees were divided into groups. Celia and Max were in the same group. Mrs. Reidinger introduced the trainees to their duties. As their first assignment, each of the future employees was given a room to clean. Max noticed that Celia was looking through a magnifying glass. Max was shocked to learn that his colleague is almost completely blind. The guy promised that he would not tell anyone about it, and helped his new friend to wipe the mirror. Max confessed that he has a very rich father who deprived him of money because he had dropped out of university. Then Max helped Celia count the steps. The theory and practice lessons continued. No one but Max guessed that Celia is blind. Gradually he was able to adapt. Mrs. Reidinger was very pleased with his progress. Work in the kitchen was particularly difficult for him, and one of the dishwashers noticed it and guessed that Celia had something wrong with his eyesight. Hamid, who had escaped from Afghanistan, asked Celia to feel free to ask him for help. When Celia was taking out the garbage, he heard a beautiful singing. Later while jogging, he told Max that he fell in love with the owner of that voice, though he couldn't even see her. Max helped a friend implement a little trick to get him to meet a girl. It turned out that her name is Laura and she is a vegetable supplier. In the kitchen, Celia severely injured his finger while cutting meat. After work, the chef demanded an explanation. Celia had to tell the truth. Crone gave him a private lesson in kitchen tools. 
Max described to Celia what Laura looks like. Unfortunately, she has a boyfriend. Max suggested to his frustrated friend that they go to a bar to relax. Soon two girls became interested in them. The trainees were taught to distinguish wine varieties by smell. Thanks to the hints of a friend, Max successfully passed his certification. In the kitchen, the certification also went well. Celia is very grateful to Chrome for everything. Sometimes Celia made little mistakes, and then Max was always there to help him. The guys became very good friends. One day Laura saw Celia having fun. The customers really liked Celia because of his politeness and attentiveness. Now came the last and most difficult stage of training, working in a restaurant. Kleinschmidt did not tolerate laziness and sloppiness. The hotel's reputation was the most important thing to him. Hamid once told that he had been a surgeon in Afghanistan, but that he was not yet authorized to practice medicine in Germany. Laura waved to Celia, but he did not react, for he had not noticed her. When Hamid pointed this out to Celia, he hurried to catch up with the girl and explain himself. It turned out that Laura had broken up with her boyfriend. They agreed to go on a date on Saturday. Working in a restaurant turned out to be a lot more complicated than it seemed at first. Employees must not only know how to make cocktails, but also how to use the cash register. At night Max took Celia to his father's restaurant to practice beforehand. Thanks to the friend's help, Celia began to do well. Celia decided that he would bring Laura to this restaurant on Saturday. He is not yet ready to admit to her that he is blind. Kleinschmidt was very pleased with how Celia was doing his job. In the evening he met Laura in a restaurant. She told him that she and her parents run a farm where they grow vegetables. Laura also admitted that she has a five-year-old son Oscar. They had a nice conversation, Laura didn't realize that Celia is blind. Before going home, Laura invited him to go for a Sunday walk with her and her son. Celia had to get up early to learn to distinguish some wines varieties from others. Max advised him to tell Laura the truth after all. Celia was very tired from lack of sleep, and Kleinschmidt was a strict chief. Celia had never been able to learn how to wipe down the glasses until they were perfectly clean. Kleinschmidt gave him his first warning. At night he practiced doing it at home. Finally he succeeded. On Sunday, Celia went to a picnic with Laura and Oscar. He played soccer with the boy and could not catch the ball. Laura dozed off, and Celia tried to get a glimpse of her features. They had fun, Oscar really liked his mother's new friend. Laura kissed Celia and told that she had no contact with Oscar's father. He didn't want to take responsibility for the baby. Celia was late for work. Kleinschmidt gave him his second warning. The third would be his last. Later, his mother and sister told him that his father left them, withdrawn all the money from their accounts, filed for divorce, and married someone else. Mom urgently needed a job to pay the mortgage. Now the only hope is for Celia, who will have to find a second job. He worked his ass off and spent his free time with Oscar and Laura. He didn't have the energy to do everything, and he was beginning to make mistakes. Once Laura asked him to look after Oscar for an hour. Soon he received a phone call from Max, who told him that Kleinschmidt would be arriving any minute. Celia had completely forgotten that there is a wedding at the hotel today. Suddenly he lost sight of Oscar. Laura came, and Celia had to admit that he is blind. Finally Oscar was found. Laura was outraged that Celia didn't tell her the truth right away. Max called him again and told him that Kleinschmidt was already there. Fortunately, Kleinschmidt did not notice his absence. But Celia felt very ill and dropped the champagne tray. Max urged Celia not to return to the hall in that condition, but he couldn't lose everything. When Celia swooped down on the wedding cake, everyone was shocked. Then he admitted he is blind, but a shocked Kleinschmidt threw him out anyway. Celia became depressed. He went on a binge and spent a lot of time in nightclubs. One day while drunk, he tripped on the stairs and hit himself hard. Celia woke up in the hospital with his sister sitting next to him. Soon Max came, who was also very worried about the friend. Celia apologized for his behavior. The sister told him the good news, mom had found a job with an insurance company. Celia also decided to find a job that he could do. This company works employees with disabilities, where all conditions are created for them. Later, Celia told Max that he could not work there. The friend offered him a little adventure, to ride his bicycle down a mountain road. Celia followed Max's voice, and the two of them were able to do it. When the road was behind them, the friends embraced. Celia finally plucked up his resolve and returned to the hotel to talk to Kleinschmidt and Fry to apologize for the deception. He asked permission to take the exam, because working here is his lifelong dream. He wants to get another chance and not deceive anyone else. Max and the rest of the staff were on Celia's side. Kleinschmidt agreed to give him a chance after all. 
Max helped Salia prepare. They practiced the art of table setting together. Hamid finally got an answer from the migration service. Now he can work in the ambulance. Laura interrupted the conversation and wished Salia good luck on the exam. He misses her very much, but Laura refused to talk to him. It was exam day, first theory, then practice. Salia did just as well as the others. He unmistakably distinguished one type of glass from another, but he still had a hard time setting the table. He fell and dropped the tray of glasses. But since he passed the rest of the exams with excellent marks, Kleinschmidt announced that Salia would receive a diploma. Everyone was happy for him and applauded. Max also passed certification. Krohn and Fried congratulated the new employees. A party was thrown to mark the occasion. Hamid drove up in an ambulance to personally congratulate his friends. He too had a cherished dream come true. Kleinschmidt expressed his admiration for Celia. He had never met anyone so dedicated before. They shook hands. The party continued. As the guests moved into the restaurant, Laura came in. She was sorry that she had been so cruel to Celia, but now everything would be all right between them. Please subscribe to the channel.